Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. Hello, Boomerizzles. How we doing today? <clears throat> Good to see you. We are getting into a Friday night dinner reaction. Now, I normally wouldn't do this without the Queen, but uh, she's been very busy lately. And she says she's going to be back tonight to do a Father Ted and a Friday night dinner, but usually... When she comes back from work, she can do one, and then she's exhausted. So, <clears throat> I know she's going to want to do a Father Ted, because we've kind of been slacking with the Father Ted reactions lately. But uh, I apologize for that. Plus, I know that Father Ted is the one show where if I react to it without her, she's going to kill me. That's just how it is. Okay, that's her favorite show. And uh, it's probably mine at the moment right now. Maybe not all time, but of the shows we're doing right now, it's my favorite. But this one is up there as well, Friday Night Dinner. Uh, what is this episode called? The Yogurts. Okay. Don't know what that means. But uh, it probably involves some goo. But I uh, hope everybody's having a good day. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and uh, let's get into the reaction, shall we? All right, here we go. Three hours later. Three days later. Oh, don't forget my yogurts are in the boot. Oh, yes, the yogurts. Grandma, you do know none of us eat yogurts. I know. So why did you buy so many? They were half price. What are we going to do with 36 of them? What? Oh, God, why won't it open? <sighs> crazy tits. Do you have to call her that? Uh, yes. It's Liz, actually. Yeah, crazy tits Liz. Stop texting me. Have you worked out what you're going to do about her yet? No. I've told her what you should do. Dump her. I can't just dump her. Body in the Thames. Please open. I can't dump her. It's her birthday tomorrow. Whose birthday is it? Johnny's incredibly old girlfriend, who's also his boss. Oh, crazy tits. <laughs> Excellent. My boot's stuck, Grandma. Dad'll have to do it. Oh, OK, Dolly. She's not old. What? Liz, she's not incredibly old. She's 83. 43. Why don't you take her out dancing? What? For her birthday. Women love dancing. Yeah, all women love dancing. Ow! When I was younger, before I met Sydney, if a man asked me to dance, somehow I always ended up in bed with them. <laughs> <laughs> Her evil laugh at the end got me. That's a naughty grandma. Hi, Mum. Hello, Dolly. Oh, come in. Mwah. Hi, boys. Well, nothing. You like my new style? Oh, it's lovely, Mum. Thank you, Jackie. They're very good there. You should go. I'm OK, thanks. But they specialise in problem hair. Right, go through, Mum. You all right? Hmm? Crazy tits. Oh, uh, crazy tits. Will you please stop calling her crazy tits? God, what is that smell? Jesus. Oh, it's that cupboard. Your dad's been using it. Don't open it. Oh, oh, oh I told you. What the hell is that? What is that fish hanging up in there? What? Oh, my God. Your dad's been drying fish. Drying fish? What's he drying fish for? Because he wants my house to smell like a sewer. Hello, Benvidos. A sewer? Ow! That, what are you doing in there? I'm not in there. <laughs> Why are you drying fish in a cupboard? Because that's what you do. If you want to get sectioned. What? Got all bloody things screaming here. If you want to get sectioned. That is a good thing to get sectioned for. <laughs> What's... Maybe he'll explain this. Is he, like, trying to hang him up on the wall? I don't know. My ear. Yeah, no, my father used to do this years ago. Oh, it's delicious. Is it? And, of course, the Portuguese. Been doing it for centuries. Of course, the Portuguese. The Portuguese. What, you never had dried fish before? Not from a cupboard. Not another text. Who's that? Crazy tits. Uh, Dad. Is that the <laughs> he calls old woman her that too. That's it's awesome. Old woman. How old is she again? Fifty-three. Uh, no, sixty-three. Forty-three. She's forty-three. Forty-three. Imagine living through two world wars. She's almost as old as you, Jackie. Oh, thank you, Martin. <laughs> it's her birthday tomorrow. When are we going out for dinner? So what are you going to do about her? Where's my sherry? All right, Mum. Behind me. Adam, get Grandma a sherry. Oh, always me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. What am I going to do about her, Mum? I mean, she definitely knows something's up. How can I finish with her on her birthday? You can't finish with her on her birthday. Can't I? Can't he? No. Great. 
So I have to get her a nice present. And then she'll be all happy. Then I'll have to act all happy. And then I'm stuck with her again. You could always get her a horrible present. Yeah, but then she'll be all upset. <laughs> and I have to be all nice. And then she'll be all happy. Then I'm stuck with her again. Again. I can't bloody win. You could just kill her. <laughs> yeah. That, then. Seriously. It's not too hard to kill an old lady. You just creep up behind them and go boom. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, Grandma. <laughs> Close. I told him he should just take her out dancing. <laughs> Did you, Mum? It's not quite as easy as that, Grandma. Yes, it is. I'll show you. What? How to dance. Come on. Grandma, you're not going to show me. Yes, just a little dance. What a wonderful idea. Oh, go on, Johnny. Have a little dance with your grandma. Mom, go on. I'll make her happy. Where's the music? Uh, there's a radio machine in the kitchen. Radio machine. Come on, then. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, Grandma. How is this happening? Boomer term. Stop it. It'll cheer you up. I really won't. Now then, here we go. Hold on to my waist. Really? Here we are. Lovely. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, two, I think that's three, the music for the news. One, two, Keep going, Miss Face. Shut up, Miss Face. Oh, where's the digital camera? You know what kind of music for that dancing sounds right? What's that? Uh, what's that classical tune that's like always played all the time? Like da na 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 da 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 na 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 da 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 da. You know what I'm talking about? I, I wish I knew. There's like certain classical t tunes. Now that I'm thinking of it, that show up all the time in all like all these shows and all these movies. Um, Christ, there was one that I just uh, react that was in uh, the movie Train Spotting that I reacted to fairly recently. Um, I wish I remember the names of these classical tunes, because some of these show up in modern stuff constantly. But you guys probably know the tune that I'm talking about for this one. If anybody can name that tune that I did, if I did it correctly or long enough, please let me know in the comments. Oh, yes, the camera. One, two, three, one, two. We are dancing to the news. Smile. This is mental. It's not music. London what? Airport. It's not. Oh, well done, Grandma. <laughs> so that's what you should do. You should take your girlfriend out dancing. Agreed. Okay, Grandma, I'll do that. And then you bring her back home and make passionate love to her all night. <laughs> just let that seep in a bit. Should be okay. Thanks, Dad. It's just basic fluid mechanics, really. Simple coefficients of viscosity. Right. I remember that. See you later. Oh, Adam. Yeah. Any uh, Dad, females? Please. Well, your brother's got a female. Correction, old woman. Well, you can learn a lot from an older lady. What, like how to dance to the news? <sighs> Look, all I'm saying is maybe you should consider other options. Other options? Like, I don't know, divorcees? Sorry? Or widows. Widows? Yes. OK, I'm <gasps> going to go inside now and set myself on fire. Dennis Red... Why are you doing that now? What? <sighs> I fucking love him. Yo, Paul Ritter. Uh, I love his character in this, man. He's definitely my favorite character. And it blows my mind that he was uh, Comrade Dyatlov in... Uh, um, God, why is the name of that show escaping? Cherno Chernobyl. Great show. If you guys haven't seen Chernobyl, uh, I highly recommend it. But uh, be warned that it is... Uh, horrifying at times. It really... I want Queen Boomer to react to Chernobyl with me because I've already seen it, but she's never seen it. But I know there's scenes in there that will absolutely destroy her emotionally, particularly the episode that involves um, pets. For those of you guys who've seen it, know what I'm talking about. So I'm kind of scared to do that to her. After what happened with the 1917 reaction, which I'm still having trouble getting up... Uh, getting edited in a, in a way that I find uh, uh, 
it's kind of acceptable to me. I don't know. But anyway, I'm ranting too long. Here we go. Come on, Mum. What's he doing out there? Oh, fixing a stupid boot. Why he couldn't wait? Oh, my yogurts. Oh no! Oh no! We have no idea, Val. She was here a minute ago. She's definitely not on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you look on the roof, you muppet? Oh! Oh, if a grandma could get up on the roof. It's like the evil Knievel of grandmas. Oh man, that was funny. I'm a loose, I think. I'll call you back. So what are we gonna do? Oh, that must be her coming, Mummy. Mummy? Oh, sorry, Jim. It's a terrible time. I've lost my mother. We're very sorry to hear that, Jackie. Aren't we, Wilson? Oh, no, she's not dead. We've lost her. We, we can't find her anywhere. Have you looked on the roof? She's not on the roof, Jim. Oh, well, just wanted to let you know your car appears to be making a terrible moaning noise. Okay, well, thanks, Jim. It's, it's almost as if it could talk. <laughs> it's okay, Mum. You are such an idiot, Martin. It's okay, I can just drill into it. <laughs> oh, my God. Drill right into my mother's skull. No, this is, this is something you guys probably, for those of you who have a father, um... That's around or has been around at the house constantly. We like my father. This is a personal thing about my father. He's never going to watch this anyway, but we call him Destructo at the house because whenever he tries to fix something, he immediately goes to destroying it. Like just like Paul Ritter is right now. It's uh, so if you have a Destructo father, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't. Noise. Uh, nothing, Mum. I can survive, I think. I've got 36 yogurt. <laughs> okay, Grandma. But I might need a spoon. Have you, have you called the police yet? I told you I'm not calling the police. They'll think we're bloody murderers. I mean, Jackie, I can smash her out. Whoa, you're not smashing up my car. Yeah, never mind your car. Do you want to kill my mother? Johnny, call the locksmith. Destructo! The locksmith. Oh, yeah, the locksmith that I know. I'll just Google it, you div. Crazy tits. Oh. You could always call Mike. Jim, please, it's an emergency. It's Mike Sullivan. He's a locksmith. What? He's a friend of mine. Mike Sullivan will get your mother out in no time. Really? Well, call him quick. It's all right, Mum. Unfortunately, I don't have his number because Wilson sort of did something to my phone with his bot. Oh, great. He doesn't live far. I know the way. Right, come on. How about this? Destructo, dude. I'm telling you, man, there's so many dads out there. They immediately go to, let's break it. That'll fix it. This way, everybody. We're at the locksmith's now. He's going to get you out in one minute. It's so dark. Just try to keep breathing. Ah. Oh, don't worry, Jackie. Mike Sullivan's the man. <coughs> oh, here he comes. Locks. Hello, Mike. Hello, Jim. Everything all right? Yes. No, it isn't. <laughs> My mother's trapped in our booth, so... Sorry? Could you get her out? Yeah, she's in the booth. Quickly. Um... Adam, go and stay with Grandma, will you? Sure. Well, are you going to let her out, then? Well, how am I going to do that? With your tools, come on. My tools? Yes, your tools, your locksmith tools. Locksmith tools? I'm not a locksmith. What? what? I'm a town planner. Are you? Yes. I thought you were a locksmith. Why? <laughs> Why, yeah? Uh... The locks. <laughs> Why aren't you a shitting locksmith? OK, I'm slamming the door now. Good uh, man. Something's happened. That's that's what you should do. Whenever you see, whenever you, somebody knocks on your door and you open the door and it's just pure muppetry sitting in front of you. That's the best idea, what he just did. Although you should do it sooner than he did it. Just slam the door. I'm gonna slam the door now. That was perfect. Oh no! Oh my god. 
she's got yogurts. It's his first thought. Two hundred and twenty bloody pounds. I knew I should have used that hammer. You all right now, Mum? Yes. This is a very fashionable restaurant. Um. Oh, not now. Yes, not now. She's cut her own hair. Why would she do that? Because you ruined her life. Come on, Grandma. Let's take you home. Am I going in the boot again? Only if you ask nicely. <laughs> One minute. What? I did turn the oven off. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Johnny, take Grandma upstairs. Right. Oh, oh, Martin, get the chicken out. What? The chicken. <laughs> oh, 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 shit on the bloody thing. Yes, shit on the bloody thing. I must say, they are the loveliest dysfunctional family I've ever seen on camera. I must say that. I know it's a fake family. It's not... It's a television show. But still, it's the loveliest dysfunctional family I've ever seen. Looking forward to dinner. Mm. Crazy tits. She wants to pop round. Oh, I'll switch the stairlift on. Thanks, but we're very busy. Shame. How's Grandma? Still lying down. She's a little confused. Oh, poor Grandma. She just asked if I could get her something from Duty Free. There. Who says we can't still have a delicious Friday night dinner, eh? Oh, no. Um, me? And me? Some lovely dried fish. Uh, they probably needed a couple more days under the stairs, but... Uh... Dried fish from under the stairs. Oh, at least you tried. Thank you. Aww. And failed. <laughs> Raw carrots and some crisps. They might be a bit stale, though. They are. <laughs> Look, a lovely bit of squirrel fish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I've noticed that there's, as the episodes go on, the dinners just keep getting worse and worse. They really do. I like that. That's the theme of this show. The dinners just continue to get more and more shit as it goes on. You definitely taste the cupboard. Yep. Cupboard. So have you decided then? Hmm? What you can do about Liz? Mm. Yeah, I have actually. Put her in a home. I'm gonna give it another go. Put really? Her home. Really? And you were conscious when you made that decision, were you? Yeah. <laughs> give it another go. Okay. He's staying with crazy tits. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, no, it's her birthday, and I'm gonna be nice and get her a nice present and then just see how it goes. Ooh. I'm sticking with Liz. Oh my God, she's so annoying. She goes on about the 70s the whole time, as if she was there, which she was. She's got a thing called a bread maker, so she can make her own bread. I didn't even know you could make your own bread. And her best friend, who's an utter cock, by the way, he drives a black cab, but he's not a taxi driver. That's his own car. It's OK, Johnny, calm down. That guy does sound like a cop. No, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't be making fun of cars after your last car that you lost to a burglar. If I were him, I would zip it making, uh, when it comes to making fun of people's vehicles. I've got to go around to her now. I've got to see her. I've got to talk to her. Oh, my God. Well, She's outside. What? She's outside? She's outside. She's outside. Oh, please don't say it's true. It's true! Shit, what am I going to do? She's locking her car. Don't worry, Johnny. Just talk to her like a man. Yeah, like a really old man. She understands you, then. Shut up! Yeah, shut up! She's coming up the drive. Just tell her how you feel. Suicidal. Yeah, you were going to go around and talk to her a second ago. Getting closer. That was before. This is now. I can't just talk to her. About to press the doorbell. Please. Doorbell press. Oh, God. And let the agony begin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's OK, Johnny. It's OK. <laughs> Don't worry. Calm down. It'll be fine. It won't be fine. Shit, shit, shit. Martin, go and put your shirt on. I'm bleeding out. Well, go on. Just open the door. Just go on, Johnny. OK. I can do it. I can do it. No, I can't do it. I've got to hide. Hide? Yes, hide. <laughs> Coming! Move, you bloody... Oh, I'm so sorry. I appear to be in your way. Nice. Um, Open the door! Open the door! Out of the way, I want to hide! Don't be so stupid! 
opening it now. I like that Johnny's getting it thrown back at him now. Enjoy. Well, tell her how to go away. Jonathan, what are you doing in there? Come here. I didn't think he was going to do that. He bit his fucking father. Holy shit. I'm a little sore. Sorry, Dad. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh, hi. I'm Liz. Of course, Liz. Sorry to come round like this, but is Johnny in? Um, what, well, he was, but... Oh, shitting fish! <laughs> Hello, babe. Yes, and since 1945, they've closed over 90%. Oh, I almost spit that out. Oh, that was a bad time to drink water. Oh, crisis averted. Oh. Of the British shipyards. 90%. Terrible. Oh, here he is. Hello. Hi, piss face. Got rid of that fishy smell. Yes, thank you. It's a medical problem. Thank you again. Oh, sorry, Johnny. Oh, thanks, Dad. You all right? Yeah. It's really nice to properly meet your mum and dad. A future brother-in-law? Well... <laughs> what happened to your hand, by the way? I was bitten. Bitten? Johnny bit him? Yes, he bit me. Oh, happy birthday for tomorrow. Oh, yes, happy birthday. Thanks. How did you know? Johnny hasn't stopped talking about it all night. Have you, Johnny? No. <laughs> well, do you like my hair? Um, it's very short. Don't you like it? Yeah. No, it's... It looks like his. Do you think it makes me look like a man? <laughs> of course not. Oh, no. Don't be silly, love. I knew I shouldn't have cut it myself. It's too short, isn't it? It is a bit short. Martin, no, it's lovely. No, really different. Um, Mum, can I just get something from the... What? Oh. Secondly, <clears throat> second day. Maybe she got the uh, haircut to look more like him, which is a weird thing to do. But uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. One second. Actually, your hair is particularly short. <laughs> what am I gonna do? She definitely looks like a man. Shut up, Adam. Mum, I don't want to see her anymore. Well, you'll just have to act like a grown-up and speak to her. But speak loudly, because I'm a terribly old ears. Adam! Can't you just speak to her for me? No! Go back in there! Please. Both of you! Can I just say, this might be the greatest night of my entire life. Is everything OK? Yeah. Oh, yes, it's fantastic. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's cut their own hair. Martin, why don't you go and finish the washing up? Yes, my little Reichsfuhrer. My <laughs> little Reichsfuhrer. Johnny, shall we? Hello. Oh, hi, Grandma. Um, this is... got a visitor. This is my mother. Feeling better now, Ma? Yes. It's a beautiful morning. Um... Grandma, this is... Who's this nice young man? Sorry? What? What? <laughs> Who is this nice young man? This is Liz, Grandma, my girlfriend. What? It's Liz, Mum. No, this man. Who is this man? <laughs> she won't let it go. Oh, God. She won't let it go. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's rough. I I'm Liz. I'm Johnny's girlfriend. She's a girl? She's a girl, Mum. I'm a girl. It's a girl. Yes. yes. I'm a girl. I'm a woman. Yeah. Ignore her, love. She's not been well. <gasps> uh, yes. <laughs> it's a girl. Yes. You're, you're a girl. Yes. You're a girl. Okay, Mum. <laughs> Lovely girl. Okay. And what is your name, young lady? Liz. Lips. Liz. <laughs> What a lovely girl. Hello, Grandma. Uh, have you met Johnny's girlfriend? Yes. Yes. She's a girl. Well, she was the last time I checked. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Best character on the show. Paul Ritter's 
the dad. Uh, best character on the show by far. God, I wish I remembered uh, people's names better in these shows, man. Maybe you two would uh, like to have a quiet chat somewhere. Um... Yes, good idea. Johnny? Okay. They locked me in the boot. Johnny, have you got something you want to tell me? What? Is everything okay? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, everything's... I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me. Well, it is me, but it's also you. What, what I mean is I like you. I really like you. And I work with you. Well, for you. And that's not awkward. That's great. It's really great. And you're older than me. Quite a bit older, actually. But you're not too old. No, but you are older and you've got a bread maker and stuff. That doesn't mean anything, because, you know, I like bread. I really like bread. And I like toast. I love toast. Really. Don't I, Mum? Don't I? Mummy? Um... Johnny? What are you trying to say? I'm sorry, but I don't want to go out with you anymore. There it is. It's okay, dear. She's gonna go crazy. She's gonna go crazy. There's still like two minutes left. She's gonna go crazy. I know it. She's gonna go crazy. Come on, love. <laughs> Sorry. You can't have a show like this without her going crazy. Leaving so soon? Oh, yeah, I'm going. Stop it. Stop what? Open the door. What door? Just open the door. Seriously, Adam. I'll bite you. I will. I bet, Dad, and I will bite you. Nice! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Simon Bird, you are the man. Give me my keys. Pardon me? My keys. I want to go home. Give me my keys. Do you mean these? Bastard! Ow! Just give them to me, you bloody piece of bloody shit. They won't <laughs> reach. You'll have to come in and get them. Open the door! I can't at the moment. You'll have to come in through the side. Through the kitchen! Is it? This is in the kitchen. Is she? I hate you so bloody much! Oh, oh you'll find someone else. Really? Yeah. What do you think, Adam? Of course you will. But I've got a feeling Johnny will come right back for you. Do you think? Um, excuse me. Sorry, I just, um, left my keys in the... Get my fucking keys! Get off me! Get me keys! Oh. 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 Adam! Johnny! John! Johnny! Martin! What? Sh oh, you stupid oh. friends! Get up! Get up. Get up. Stop it! <laughs> 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 Young man, would you like a yogurt? <laughs> That's the ending. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, pretty good episode, man. I just love that uh, Simon Bird has got hit revenge against his brother Johnny. Um, what is it? Tim Rosenthal is the actor's name. Um, two episodes in a row. May, possibly even three. Wasn't it three in a row? Two in, at least it's at least two in a row. He got he's getting his revenge for all the crap that he's taken from his brother these past two seasons. So I'm really enjoying that. Um but it's weird, because now I feel like Simon Bird should get uh, get some revenge taken against him now. God, this show is making me a little bit sadistic. It really is. Uh, once again, I can't tell you all how much I love Paul Ritter's character in the show. I think he's the best part of the show. Um, by far. I don't think any of the other characters come close. It's just wild seeing him as this f hilarious dad and then 
thinking back to the Chernobyl show where he's Comrade Dyatlov, who was really a despicable character and the most hateable character in that series. So it, it's wild. It's it's nice seeing like actors um, ha- have a completely different role and you know they can do like, they can be extremely funny and be extremely serious or hateable or lovable in a heroic way. Like the range of actors is, that always impressed me when uh, you see actors do complete 180s with their roles and and you're completely convinced that they are that character. So it's 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 a joy watching Paul Ritter in the show, but it's a joy watching everybody else as well. The grandmother made another appearance, so I was really happy about that. And uh, I hope I get to see her again in future episodes as well. Uh, poor lady, she got stuck in that, uh, in the boot. Or the trunk. Is a boot uh, another word for the trunk? Over there? For us, it's the trunk. But uh, I feel like you guys use the trunk too, but who knows? You guys can let me know in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you want. And I'll see you guys next time for future reactions. Peace out, everybody.